Don't be throwing good money after bad technology. Welcome back to Pushing Technology to the Limit. Today I've got this uh, Panasonic Advanced Hybrid PBX system. Now, why did I buy this? Now, originally I had a PBX, and I still have it, uh, installed in my home. And originally I bought it for a uh, telemarketer buster, and you know, I didn't really expect anything else from it, but we use it a lot. Now, last year I upgraded my phone service and actually found out that I've really downgraded it. And at first I thought, you know, as of this year since I've been having problems with receiving phone calls, that my PBX went bad. So I went out and bought this uh, Panasonic uh, hybrid PBX system. Now this is Hopefully going to be a short video, but just the do's and don'ts. And if you are starting out with uh, PBX systems, and you know this is not the system to go with, especially if you're a home user like me. You know this is not the one that I should have been going with. Uh, but I had a cheaper model uh, PBX, and it worked fine. It just was not a uh, one that you could uh, program on your computer. But there's a lot of things that are just old about this thing. Uh, for one, uh, I've tried a 64-bit system. The software would install, but the drivers wouldn't. And there's a lot more negatives to this thing than I can really go through. I mean, it's just pathetic. Uh, you need to have a Panasonic telephone to be able to finish the programming on this thing. Uh, there are parts you need to buy for, expensive, way more than I want to pay for. Let me get to showing you that system now. This is this Panasonic uh, Hybrid uh, Advanced System. Now, when I got it, I thought, cool, I'm going to be able to do a lot of things with it. Well, come to find out, you need to add a lot of parts and that they're expensive. Now let me show you the back of this thing and uh, this is actually the front of it and uh, let's see here. Well, Let me just start with the sides here. So as we uh, turn this system around uh, you got your, um, your USB port here. Here's a parallel kind of port or a uh, I don't know what it is really but it's a 9 pin jack uh, for an older style computer. So that means right off the bat that this is not set up for modern technology like 64-bit systems if it has this funny looking uh, port on the, uh, the system. Now yes it does have USB but it's still old. Now if I turn this around to the back here and uh, we'll look at the back. Now the videos that I've seen on YouTube actually suck. Uh, I can't get anywhere with, with knowing what's going on with this thing. So this is your main board here. And it has eight phone jacks. And you have your uh, external music, your paging system here. And uh, let's move around to the other side. And then, so as we get on to here, you have the, the power switch and then your power cord with your grounding. Now let's take a look inside. Now here you can see we've got the circuit board. And, you know, at first when I looked at this thing, I was like, all right, well, how do you reset the thing? Well, if you make a mistake, because in the programming, there's no way to reset it. Well, on the circuit board here, there's a little reset button that you can push, and you can reset it. And there's a lot more space to put add-ons for your business. But the one thing that was a drawback to me was the fact that I had to add, like, other cards to make this thing work properly, and they are whopping expensive, and they're hard to find. So these uh, little uh, panels here break off so you can add more phones. 
But really, this thing should have been just plug and uh, play. But this is not plug and play. This is too sophisticated uh, to use. And, and really, the, the big companies don't use something like this. They use a, a much nicer PBX than this thing is. And so that's basically the inside of this system uh, is, you know, you basically have to put everything into it. Now, in my home, I just use a standard phone. I'll show you that right now. This is just my standard AT&T phone that I have throughout the entire house. We have a two-line AT&T system uh, in every room of our home. And it works perfectly fine. One thing I noticed on the standard phone is that you cannot finish the program. Now, I was able to do inward bound calling, which means that I was able to call room to room to room, and it worked fine. But without the Panasonic phone, a lot of the advanced features were just gone. You could not uh, record your outgoing message on the system. Now, it says that there's a built-in 180 second uh, system, but I was not able to get it to work because of my phone. And I didn't realize that you had to buy a Panasonic telephone for this system. Now, I have a PBX, but it allows you to use your standardized telephone system, and you don't have to upgrade it. But this thing, this Panasonic uh, PBX, is a money pit. It was about $130 for another expansion board to uh, make 16 phones. And I've got a 16 phone PBX that it just came with 16 phones and four uh, coal lines, which means the outside landline or uh, internet phone service. And it works perfectly fine. It was a lot of uh, programming, but it was worth it. And there's a lot of other things. There's other add-ons that I've looked at. It's hard to find parts. Everything is refurbished. And I had a hard time finding anything that was brand new that was affordable. Now, this was $130 brand new that I got on Amazon, and it sure wasn't worth my money, and I'm going to be sending it back. So before you buy this, I sure hope you watch this video and just count the cost before actually doing something like this. Now, if you're a business, yeah, but it's still expensive. I'm thinking I could rack up probably about a thousand bucks just on the uh, getting the actual equipment going and not just that but having to buy all these phones well I just want to be able to plug in a new phone if I want to I don't want to buy a special Panasonic phone to be able to run my PBX which is the way I have it set up now and I, I'm not in the room right now where my PBX is to be able to tell you the brand I'm using but one of the videos I first videos I did in 2016 was Telemarketer Buster. And that was the PBX that I used to stop telemarketers. And I'm still using that today. It's about three years later, I'm still using it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. You don't waste your money. I mean, unless you really think you need to have something like this. But if you've got a 64 bit computer, this thing is not worth it. And there's and then the other thing is, is that there's no support. I called Panasonic themselves. Absolutely no support from them. And, and they're supposed to be a good company. I've got other Panasonic equipment from them. And it's fine. But this thing is a royal piece of junk. Because you can't do anything with it without spending an arm and a leg. And I don't recommend this piece of equipment for anybody whether it's home use or business. Uh, you can buy other PBXs out there on the internet that are cheaper than this thing. Well, I hope you uh, learned something from this video. You uh, like it and uh, thumbs it up. Uh, share it with other people. Subscribe to my channel because there's great videos coming more your way in the near future.